I remember when the big grades started. Oh, yeah, when was that? Oh, okay. I'm not sure when B grade started. Probably after, probably 70, 77 maybe. Mm -hmm. But Elliston filled the team and um, to fill the team up, they went out to Walker's Rocks and grabbed a few surf guys. And mm. and I think at the time, Des Boys was Association Secretary and he was starting to tighten up on, um, you know, right. Ring-ins? No, right coloured. Like uniforms. Oh, okay. Uniforms, uniforms yes. Sorry. And um, like he was starting to tighten up on um, board shorts and <laughs> thongs and <laughs> no, no, wrong colour socks and whatever. But uh, but they helped, um, and it was a good, it was an interesting time for the footy because B grade uh, it filled a gap for the guys that had just stopped playing. It filled mm -hmm. a gap for the Colts that. Colts went to under 16s instead of mm -hmm. under 17s, and um, and so it filled a gap for guys that like it wouldn't. Have... It was a time when Dave Mundy, the baseball chap, was doing his four years in Woodna. Mm -hmm. um, he pulled on the boots. Uh, Tim Reichstein pulled on the boots again. Uh, a couple of guys from the Roadhouse played. Uh, a few of the Colts would play. Mm -hmm. Um, a few guys, a couple of guys that just never played football. Bill Gosling mm -hmm. had a go, and um, it was a great time because um, it sort of increased the involvement in all the all the community and that sort of mm. thing. Bigger numbers at the club and bigger numbers around, and um, Elliston naturally um, had to find a team. Every 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 club had to find a team and. Mm them out of the woodwork somewhere. Mm. Yep. A lot more money over the bar too because B graders uh, of course drink be. all through the A grade. Could be. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah that's yeah. for sure. Yeah. Yeah.